So you remember the owl camera, the meeting owl that we all sort of had a love-hate relationship with over the past couple of years? Well, there's a new version out. And our question for today is, is it any better? Hey, everybody. My name is David Paskin, your Torah Tech Guy, and I'm here on Torah Tech Tips to share some great tech for your great Torah. So the owl camera, the meeting owl, this was sort of a revolutionary device, especially when we were all stuck in meetings, and especially, especially when we were dealing with hybrid meetings, when you had some people sitting around a table and other people online. I was just in one of these meetings earlier this morning, and I was thinking, oh, I wish they were using an owl camera or the meeting owl. Well, meeting owl just came out with the meeting owl three. So, Before we jump into is this any better, because I have not tested it myself, but I did participate in the launch of this. Let's talk about some of the ups and downs, goods and bads of this particular camera, so or this particular device. So as you know, the Meeting Owl is uh, all in one unit. It sits right on the table in the meeting, uh, in the middle of your table. You plug it in via USB-C to, excuse me, via USB. I don't think it is USB-C. I don't remember forgive me. Um, you plug it in via USB to your computer. And then if you want, you can send the computer an HDMI out to a, to a TV so you can see the, the Zoom folks in, in large screen. And then this one device acts both as your camera and as your microphones. Uh, sorry, three things. Your camera, your microphones, and your speaker. So there's a 360-degree camera on top that takes a, a picture of the entire room around puts that up at the top as sort of a, a, a long thumbnail and then crops in to the different participants as they speak. So it listens for volume of voice and it will crop over to those people when they're speaking. The microphones are all around it. So they're supposed to pick up the whole room and then uh, you've got the speaker also. So what's great about this is it's plug and play. You plug it in and it just kind of works. Um, it absolutely allows for a more intimate experience for those people at home because you can, you're not just getting one large view of everyone, you can actually see the individual's faces as they're speaking. That's a huge plus. Some of the downsides are the image quality isn't fantastic and the audio quality isn't that great. If you're far away from the, the meeting owl or if you're wearing a mask or whatever it is, it is not gonna do a great job of picking up your voice. Now, they have added um, a couple of um, new options or new ways to connect all of these. So, for example, in the past, you could take two meeting owls and sort of daisy chain them together. If you had a long table, you could put one on one end, one at the other end, and you can sort of use them um, together to have better audio and things like that. They've now added, not just recently, but uh, let me find it here for you. Where is it? Oh, maybe it's over here. Let's see. They added the um, a microphone extension. There it is. So you've got the, um, there, there are a whole bunch of different pieces of this, but in the bottom um, right over here, this guy right here is the expansion mic for $249. So if you don't need extra camera, um, distance, you just need extra mic difference, or you want to have a more sensitive mic to pick up everyone in your room, you could absolutely get that expansion mic uh, to help you out. But let, let's take a look at the specs, because this, I think, is important. So you've got this single custom design 360-degree camera. It's only 1080p. Now, 1080p is great, but if you've got a very, very long image and then you're cropping in within that 1080p, that's gonna make the resolution go down significantly. So this is just so you can get a sense of the difference, right? So the meeting that I was in this today looked like the one on uh, this guy over here. It looked like, oops, sorry. It looked like this guy right here. And um, it, it wasn't pleasant. It just wasn't. In fact, in the meeting I was in, the camera was placed up a little higher, so I wasn't even sitting at the table. I was kind of looking down at everyone. And um, although I, I wasn't in the room, I imagined that there was a large screen at the front where people could see me. It was very difficult for me to hear. They were not using a meeting owl. 
Um, they had a mic that was hanging from the ceiling or Im embedded it in the ceiling. Um, it was very hard to hear. And most importantly, I couldn't see anyone's faces. I just saw the whole room. Contrast that with on, on this side over here, this is what the meeting owl looks like, right? You've got the long strip up at the top, which is the entire room, which you can turn on or off. And then you've got the individual speakers as they actually speak, they will come up and it dynamically changes for one, two, three, however many speakers you have. So again, it's, it's great for what it does. The, um, the quality of the image just isn't fantastic. It, it just isn't fantastic. If what you're looking for is a high quality image, I have a hard time recommending even the Meeting Owl 3. But if you're doing more hybrid meetings, we may need to take another look at that. Um, the other piece of this puzzle is the audio, right? We need to have really good audio. Um, now you can get that expansion mic. They say here, let's see, eight omnidirectional beamforming smart mics, audio pickup radius of 18 feet. Yeah, no. I mean, maybe. If you have people who really are you know, can project their voices and speak loudly, maybe. But in my experience using the original um, OWL, six feet tops, in a, in, around it, six feet tops. Um, and then you can expand video and audio range by eight, another eight feet if you use uh, OWL Connect using another device along with that. Um, the speakers, I think, are fine. I think the speakers are fine. I think that the real question is going to come down to what are your goals? It always comes down to that, doesn't it? What are your goals? Is your goal to have the highest quality audio and video? If that's the case, this is not the solution for you, even the Meeting Owl 3. But if your goal is to create an environment in which your folks online are having as rich an experience as they can with the people who are on site, then the Meeting Owl 3 may require us to take another look even though we're not going to get that high quality audio, that high quality video, because again, just, I, I just, I keep coming back to this experience that I had today. I was so disconnected from the meeting because I couldn't see anyone's faces. Everyone was, and this, I'm sure that the install in this particular place was a very nice install. I'm sure it was a, you know, I don't know if it was a Zoom room. I think it may have been a Zoom room with a, a Logitech camera maybe device up at the top there. But the experience, my experience, the way I felt as a part of this meeting, not being able to see people's faces, not knowing who was speaking sometimes, because all I had was this one big sort of down angle view was, was incredibly limiting. It really made me feel distant from the people that I was meeting with. So the OWL Camera 3, the OWL Meeting 3, excuse me, has been updated. It is available now. Um, I don't know if we're able to get the same deal we did before with those refurbished. You could get $250 up, off for the refurbished. If anyone's interested in that, let me know. I'll reach out to the OWL Labs folks and see if we can still get that deal on the Meeting OWL 3. But I have to say that especially given my experience today, I'm going to start taking another look at the Meeting Owl 3 for those times when I'm doing hybrid meetings. Folks on site, folks online, really wanting to try and create as um, equitable an experience as I possibly can. I do have links to lots of devices, lots of other cameras and good stuff like that over on my website, toratechguy.com. I am feeling very, very honored. I've been working with lots of communities and lots of folks lately doing lots of teaching, teaching classes and webinars and things like that. And if you'd like to bring me to your community, I would love to do that. Um, I really just want to help everyone level up their game and show what, um, uh, what, what Jews can do when they are using the best audio, the best video, and the best tools to share the most amazing tour that they have. So that's what I got for you this week. The Meeting Owl 3 may be worth another look. Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you next time.